Hello, I'm Dr. Craig Eskide. Welcome to Medical Monday. Dementia. It's something that we all might be facing, either for ourselves or our loved ones as we get older. And the same thing happens in people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And I would say even more so as people with IDD are living longer. Um, we used to not have to worry about some of the things that we see with aging in people with disabilities because they didn't have as long of a life expectancy. But that is improving. But that also means that we're seeing more things associated with aging, including dementia. Now, when we think about dementia, which is basically just a decline in cognitive function over time, um, it can be really challenging to diagnose dementia in people with disabilities or people who don't communicate using words because it, it might be hard for us to figure out, you know, how has their cognitive function actually declined if we aren't able to, you know, converse with them and, and, and see a decline in the ways that they think or process different things. But there is a tool out there that has been developed uh, that I highly recommend. It is by the National Task Group on Intellectual Disabilities and Dementia Practices. It's NTG uh, for short, and their website is the hyphen ntg.org. And I highly recommend that, that you take a look at this, this uh, organization and the tool. The tool is called the Early Detection and Screen for Dementia. And it is specifically made to help diagnose dementia in people with intellectual and, de and developmental disabilities. So take a look at that tool and it can help. Now, when do you need to start looking at screening for dementia in people with disabilities. And in general, I would say earlier than people without disabilities for a couple of reasons. We, we tend to, to see signs of aging in people with IDD occurring earlier than they do in people without I, IDD. And in terms of dementia, this is particularly true of um, people with Down syndrome who are at higher risk for dementia and earlier uh, risk for dementia, where we see it earlier. So screening should start you know, a good bit earlier, maybe around age 40 or so um, in people with Down syndrome because they have a higher incidence and, we, and it also starts earlier. Um, now, if you see signs of dementia, seek, seek help, seek, seek professional help. Um, it's not just about a medication, which there are some medications out there with varying degrees of, of you know, success and responsiveness, to be honest. But there, there's a lot of support out there uh, for people who have dementia and supporters, uh, caregivers, family members, uh, staff, to understand what, what is happening uh, and to know how best to support a person as things change. So, you know, d dementia is, is something that we, we, we all can face in, in different ways in our lives, uh, including in people that we support with disabilities. So know about it, learn about it, look for early signs and um, do what you can to, to support people to the best of your ability in every way possible. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of Medical Mondays with Dr. Craig Eskide. We got a ton more in the backlog. So if you want to check those out, we got a playlist on YouTube or you can listen to it on our podcasting platforms. Uh, we just want to make a quick note that Friends for Life is currently hiring. So if you'd like to come work with us here at Friends for Life, head over to friendsforliferc.com. Go to our employment page, fill out the form, and we'll get back with you soon. And we also have a new show airing now called Nursing In. In no time kind of as a compliment to these medical Mondays so if you'd like to check that out also available on our YouTube channel and as always you guys can check out the friends for life podcast and our midweek mini so thank you for watching we'll see you next week